previously on King of Wraiths. Then, as we are, we now greet our kingdom as husband and wife. Let that greeting be with a kiss, my darling. Jim? God damn it all. I knew you'd been in your workshop without water and food for too long. No, no. I'm not mad, my sweet. Just concerned. I'll have some food sent down. Please, sit. Angel, you do not get to give me that look. You've been with us almost two years now. You've expelled any right to smirk at us. <sighs> right. The Wraith technology has been fully rolled out. Per our records, 84% of the vampires and elderways converted. The remainder have requested to stay as they are, which we are respecting. How are we on to phase two? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to make faces at my wife. Hmm? Even if they are the... My wife is so smart, ones. Yes, yes, phase two. The angel has been able to avoid detection in their endeavors. So far, five noble families have had their titles claimed via duel. I suspect Inu is rushing to have the law revoked. A bit late, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, the other clockwork angels were offered safety here provided they agree to provide the necessary body heat for our people. Yes, Angel, I have made it very clear that any clockwork that is abused or mistreated will be given justice by my hand. And no, your little inventor twins have not been murdered. Took them an unusually long amount of time to cool down. Even speaking with one of our counselors took forever to bear any fruit. Hmm? You wish to have them released to your custody. Hmm. If you are certain, Angel, their crimes are against you, not me. Knife to the tit aside, mind. I'll issue the order, then. Does this mean you shall be returning to Everfall to continue your infiltration? Very well. Do try and be careful once you go, old friend. What's that? You and my gem have a surprise for me. <laughs> oh dear. How worried do I need to be? Ah, I see. The pocket dimension spell has come in handy. Wh what? It's massive. Not quite as humanoid as the other clockwork, but gods. This thing could step down once and crush the entire small town. Gem, Angel, you've been building this all this time? <laughs> ah, I'm eternally grateful that I left this up to the smart ones. I beg your pardon, Angel. No, we do not typically keep buns on hand for celebration, and certainly don't keep any warmed in an oven. Forgive if I am rude, but can you eat? No, we do not typically seek wild stork around here. Are you feeling all right, Angel? You're giving me that smug grin. Yes, the one that cats have after they've pushed a cup off the counter. Henry. Don't you dare. Ugh, I swear. 
Hmm? Oh, you haven't decided on a name for him yet. Yes, I suppose names are important for you. Your babies. Hmm. Let's see. The pose he's in somewhat reminds me of a busboy clearing tables. How about busboy? <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Jim. Wait. Hold on. I've never met an intelligent man dumber than this one. Wait, you don't mean... Sweetheart, you are with child. Feel. I... Uh, wow. <coughs> Give me a moment, please. I think I... Ah. Jem! Jem, where have you... Ah. Ah. If you thought I was bad before, <laughs> you're going to have to deal with me being extra protective now, my sweet. Oh... I can't wait to meet them. See what they're like. I'm going to love them so much more than I already do. Oh, but I'm being a bad husband. How do you feel? Are you nervous? Yes, it will be difficult with war looming on the horizon. You promised yourself You'd be strong after what happened with Reuben. Darling, you are stronger than any other. It is okay to be vulnerable, to be afraid. Rearing children can be difficult. But I will be here every step of the way. So, 100 gold on it being a girl? <laughs> You'll take that bet? All right. 100 gold to you if we have a wonderful little boy instead of an intelligent, sweet little girl. I... Uh... That brings a pain point to the surface again. Yes, your father. Jim. He's... He's been awful through all of this. I know it is ultimately your choice, but I want my opinion heard. I do not wish him to be around our children unless he can prove himself to be less toxic. I know. I know there were good times too. It doesn't have to be decided now, alright? I just... I want to make certain they are protected and know they are loved more than the astronauts love the stars and the skies above. Yes, you will be so loved. Yes, you will. Oh, I hope you don't think I look scary when you are born, little one. I know I can be quite imposing. I don't have it in me to combat you on my person being cute anymore. If I am cute, then I am cute. Now, come here and finish your water. If not for me, then at least for Henry. Look at him. He's simply heartbroken that his mother isn't taking care of herself. Soak all you want, mongrel. You'll be needing to share before too long. That's right. We hadn't announced as much yet. Well, do try to keep your tongues for waggling, yes. My wife and I have a running bet on whether it'll be a boy or a girl. <laughs> yes, I dare say that the image of me having a little girl is... 
Silence! Silence. We are not alone. Prepare yourselves for combat. Forgive me, my world. I never wished to leave the weight of the throne of motherhood on you. No, that means... Jim. Jim, get off the battlefield. Please. <laughs> 